The progressive conservatives are upping their game when it comes to stopping the PST hike. The sales tax went up to 8% on Monday, even though the bill that increases the tax has not yet been passed. Now the Tories are prepared to take the government to court if they can't stop the bill in the legislature. We're trying to make it clear here today that we're willing to take this extra step, that we're willing to go the extra mile if we have to, because we simply believe this is the wrong thing for Manitobans and for the future of our province. The Tories will only file the challenge when the, law, the bill is law, because courts won't declare bills invalid before they're passed. Until then, Pallister says his party will continue to challenge the bill in the legislature. Meanwhile, dozens of people packed this legislative committee hearing room last night to voice their opinions on the PST hike as part of public hearings. Mayor Sam Cates is one of nearly 30 speakers scheduled for the night. Cates is asking the province to follow the lead of the federal government, which offers rebates on the GST. He suggests a rebate to municipalities of 1% of the PST. Canada's biggest bank will soon have its name splashed all over one of Winnipeg's most iconic downtown facilities, the Winnipeg Convention Centre. RBC Royal Bank has won the naming rights for a 10-year period. It will be called RBC Convention Center Winnipeg. It's part of the center's $180 million renovation and expansion that will see the center double in size and extend south over York Avenue. It will eventually provide 135,000 square feet of continuous trade and consumer show space. Two B.C. residents are facing charges in a foiled plot to blow up the British Columbia Legislature on Canada Day. John Natal and Amanda Karate were arrested Monday. RCMP say the plot is Al-Qaeda inspired. They say the homemade bombs, similar to those used in Boston, were harmless and the force was following the suspects' activities for months. B.C. Premier Christy Clark says she finds the charges shocking but insists the event won't shake the resolve of British Columbians. A memorial is being planned in Kitchener, Ontario today for a 16-year-old girl killed in Mexico over the weekend. Camila Lopez died when she was struck by a personal watercraft south of Cancun. She would have been starting grade 11 this September. Just hours before a deadline set by Egypt's military, Egyptian President Mohamed Morsi is refusing to resign. More than 20 people were killed in overnight clashes between supporters of Morsi and opponents. Morsi had been ordered to yield to the demands of millions of protesters or see the military suspend the constitution, disband parliament and install a new leadership. Morsi, who a year ago was inaugurated as Egypt's first freely elected president, says he'll protect his, quote, constitutional legitimacy with his life. Back at home, the Blue Bombers will have revenge on their mind when they have their rematch against the Montreal Alouettes tomorrow. The Bombers dropped the regular season home opener last week when they lost 38-33 to the Owls. That comes after the team's winless preseason games against Toronto and Hamilton. Despite the losses, coach Tim Burke isn't calling tomorrow's matchup a must-win game. I'm more concerned that we just get better as a football team. And if we win, we win. And I know that's the most important thing is winning, but really the most important thing for us right now is to improve as a football team. Kickoff is set for 6 o'clock tomorrow in Montreal. And we'll have more news at 7 o'clock. Right now we'll check in with Jenna.